Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got a review and comparison of the new Shark Flex Style Hair Styler versus the Dyson Air Wrap. So, you guys, I've done one side of my head with the Dyson and I've done the other side with the new Flex Style. And you guys want to take a guess which is which? I did a rough dry on both sides with each dryer and then I went in with the paddle brush to smooth and sleek my hair. Then I went in with the round brush to make my front sections lay right and try to curl the ends. And then I went in with the curling attachments to curl both sides. I tried really hard to hold them in for the same amount of time, use the cold blast for the same amount of time. And so this is the result, 10 minutes after curling my hair with them. So here's one side and here is the other side. So do you have your guesses in? Are you ready to know which is which? This is the Dyson side and this is the Shark Flex Style side. So I mean I think there's a huge difference in the curls that these make, although I have to say probably in a couple of hours this side is going to look like this. I have to tell you though, I didn't do the back. I only did the fronts because I am not a huge fan of the air wrap portion of the Dyson air wrap anyway. For me, it just takes too long. I get a much faster, much better, much more consistent, much more long lasting curl with my regular old curling iron, which is the GHD curve, which I love. And I'll link that below. Um, but this also makes my hair really frizzy, like because there's all this air blowing out of this thing all the time. Even though you're curling your hair, like you want a nice sleek curl. You don't want a frizzy curl. All right. So if that's all you needed to know, I guess you don't need to watch the rest of this video, but in the rest of it, I'm going to compare each device head to head, show you what the attachments look like and how they compare. Then we're going to go down to my bathroom. I'm going to use it to rough dry my hair, use the paddle brush attachment to use the round brush attachment, and then to use the curling attachment. So if you want to stick around for all that, that would be great because I think there's some interesting similarities and differences to them that, you know, if you're someone who would just never drop $600 on a hairstyler, then $250 might be more in your price point for something that does kind of a similar job if you're not buying it for the curling technology. So the Shark Flex Style, they have three packages for you to choose from. There is the straight and wavy package for $270. Then there's the curly and coily package also for $270. And then they have a build your own bundle where you choose any three stylers for $250. So what I chose were the two auto wrap curlers, which are considered one item. And this is more like the original Dyson technology where you have to have two separate curlers and they have the arrows on them showing that one goes in one direction and the other goes in the other direction. There are not different barrel lengths or widths to choose from, just one size. They also have a paddle brush, which I did select, and they have an oval brush, which I also selected. The other things that you can get are a curl defining diffuser. I don't tend to use a diffuser, so I didn't need that. They also had a styling concentrator. I didn't choose that, and so I didn't really have an attachment to put on here to do my rough dry. But I figure the air shoots out of here, I could just use this, so that's what I did with that. I have the original Dyson Air Wrap. I have not upgraded it. The current model, I don't even think you can get this color anymore. It's a much more elegant color scheme, but it's still the same price, $5.99 for the air wrap. What it comes with is the air blowing wand. This is really like the magic of the, of the Dyson technology, in my opinion. It doesn't have to make the air as hot to dry your hair, but it's the velocity that it blows the air without overheating it and doing a lot of heat damage to it. So that's the reason that I do love this for my blowout. What I got with it for $5.99 was two of these barrels, 
Of course, now they have upgraded the barrels. These, you had to have a separate one for each side of your head. Now they have made it into one barrel where you just twist the top and then you can change the airflow depending on which side of your head you're working on. But you do still get two barrels. It's just they're different sizes. So you get a shorter barrel and a longer barrel and they're two different widths as well. When I bought mine, I got one paddle brush attachment. You now get two paddle brush attachments. One is firm, one is soft. When I bought mine, you got this round brush, which has these coarse plasticky hairs, which I don't love. I've never loved this. I've never been able to use it. I've never been able to get good results with this. You also get a smoothing dryer, which is similar to this, but not exactly like this. So this has changed as well. This I always called like the rough blowout attachment. And this is what I would use just to blow out my hair. So comparing the two head to head, the Shark is a little bit bigger than the Dyson body. The Shark's controls are all are divided. The cool air shot is here. The main controls are at the bottom. The Dyson, all the controls are right up here grouped together where you can easily reach them. On the back side, they both have the little lock mechanism where you pop on the different attachments. That's pretty much the same. They both have a, a removable filter here so you can clean dust or whatever out of the filter. And the main difference between them is that the Shark does this cool little trick where you press down on this button, and then the whole head rotates to 90 degrees. So now you have what something that looks more like a standard hair dryer. So if you wanted to use this for your hair dryer, especially if you got the diffuser attachment or that um, styling concentrator, this is probably how you were gonna use that to blow dry your hair. So that's pretty cool. The cords are pretty much the same. You get just about the exact same length of cord. They both have this big giant power box on them, which I always find annoying when I'm packing it to go somewhere. And then they both have, you know, the GFI plug at the end. This is what the two paddle brushes look like. They have different types of bristles. The Shark, again, bigger, bulkier, take up a little bit more room in your cabinet, but not a ton more. The Dyson is a round brush. The Shark is an oval brush. This is more like the Revlon One Step. So if you love the Revlon One Step, then this might work really well for you if you have good luck working with that one. I didn't love that one either, but mainly because it runs too hot. Uh, but I don't love this round brush attachment on the Dyson either. And then for the air wrap slash auto wrap technology, you can see that the Shark is much longer. So this one being bigger, it's going to give you a looser curl on the Shark and the Dyson that I have is going to give a tighter curl. That's how they stack up directly. Let's go down to my bathroom. I'll start with wet hair and I'll show you exactly how they worked. The Shark has a no heat setting as well as three heat settings. It has three air settings and a cool shot button. It also says that it monitors the heat so that it never gets too hot. The Dyson has a no heat setting and then two heat settings. It has three air settings and a cool shot button. It also says that it monitors the heat to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. But I gotta say, I noticed right away that the hot setting on the Shark is way hotter than the hot setting on the Dyson. I looked everywhere for the Shark to find out what the actual temperature settings were on each setting and I couldn't find them anywhere. I did find them for the Dyson. Low heat is 140, high is 196 with a max temperature of 302. The Dyson weighs 1.5 pounds, the Shark weighs 1.54 pounds. Then I attach the paddle brush attachments and I use them on high heat and high air. And again, I found that the air on the shark side was much, much hotter on the high heat than the Dyson is on the high heat. This is really what I love the Dyson for and feel like it really excels at. But I gotta say, the shark did almost as good a job as the Dyson in about the same amount of time. The Shark went about 10 seconds longer, but that's about it. I do think that I like the bristles on the Dyson better. I prefer those rubber bristles versus the more pokey, prickly bristles that they have on the Shark. I feel like the blowout itself looks pretty comparable. I was able to get a little bit more of a bend on the Dyson side at the bottom of my hair than I do than I was on the Shark side. 
But that said, that bend doesn't really last very long, and so within a couple of minutes, both sides looked pretty identical, and so I couldn't really tell a difference. So from the standpoint of rough blowout and blowout with the paddle brush, I'd say they are pretty much neck and neck at this point. So if you're like me and you're buying one of these just for the blowout and the paddle brush, then yeah, you could definitely go with the Shark and save yourself $350 over the Dyson if you're not gonna use the air rep part of it. I think the hair looks pretty identical on both sides of my head. The only difference is that I would be concerned about using the Shark over the long haul just because it's so much hotter and the heat is so much higher that I'd be worried about damage. So for me, I'm probably gonna stick with the Dyson, but if you were never gonna buy the Dyson and it's more the look of the hair that you care about, then you could definitely save yourself 350 bucks and go with the Shark. And then I put on the round brush attachments to goof around with those for a couple minutes. I have never been able to work with any kind of a round brush, including the ones on both of these. So even though I had them in my hair, I wasn't able to make a curl or add any volume with either of them. I am just hair challenged, sorry about that. But what I did notice during this is that I tried to use the cool shot. And what I noticed was that on the shark, number one, the cool shot button is hard to find because it's flush with the barrel. And so you're searching around for it and it's not really easy to find it. Then once you press it, it takes forever to, for the air to get cool. It just stays hot for so, so long that it would like double your drying time. Where with the Dyson, the cool shot button is right there on the on off button. And so it's also raised. And so you have no trouble finding it. You just go right into cool shot mode and within a couple of seconds, the air goes from hot to cool on the Dyson and it cools your hair down right away. Whereas with the Shark, I was waiting, 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 still waiting, still no cool air coming out of that thing. It took it probably a good 30 to 60 seconds to have cool air come out. Then I used both the curling attachments. I used them both on high heat and high air, and then tried to use the cool shot button to set the curls. And I found the same thing with the curling attachment with the shark. When I pressed the cool button, number one, it was hard to find it. Once I did find it, I would press it and it would take so long for it to get cool. That said, it was also so hot, it was like burning my ear or burning my scalp while I was trying to curl the hair. So I felt like I was getting a lot more damage to my hair with just the sheer heat of the Shark than with the Dyson. And with the Dyson, I would have that nice warm air. It would make the curl, then I'd press the cool shot really easily. It would immediately get cool. And so it took half the time to make these four curls, which was all I did on each side of my head, as it did with the Shark. Where my big complaint about the Dyson curling attachment is that it takes way too long. The one on the Shark takes twice the time. So if you use the Dyson and you actually like using the curling attachment, but you do think it takes a long time, imagine how long it's gonna take using the Shark because it mainly takes so long because of how long it takes it to cool down. That cool shot is just, it just takes so long for the air to get cool that you're just standing there holding the thing for so much longer. And then as you saw, the curls fell right out, probably because it doesn't cool the hair down at all. So you let it out and unless you're gonna pin it to let it cool, which I've seen people do, but for me, that is just like not worth the time, then they're not gonna cool right. So you never get the cooling on it while it's wrapped around the barrel. And so the curls just fall out within as we saw, 10 or 20 minutes of putting them in, whereas it takes the Dyson curls six or seven hours before they fall out. But neither of them last a whole day. So for me, it's still curling iron is better. So while I had really, really high hopes for the shark and I was really hoping that it would just blow the Dyson out of the water, not that I have anything against the Dyson, but uh, you know, $600 for a hair dryer. I know it's hard to swallow, but I gotta say still, now that I've used them side by side and head to head, for me, the Dyson just wins almost hands down. I mean, I gotta say the things that I love about the Dyson is that 
It's nicer to my hair. It dries my hair with less heat and more air velocity. And I gotta say the shark, it was just really, really hot. This just didn't have the same speed. And so it needed to rely more on heat than moving the air through faster where the Dyson does the opposite. And it keeps my hair so much healthier. Like I almost felt like, ouch, my hair's frying using this one because on the highest heat, it's so hot. The other thing that the Dyson was better at is the cool shot is far superior on the Dyson than on the Shark. I gotta say the Shark cool shot, it took so long for it to get cool. You know, I'm standing there like waiting, 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 and it's still not cooling off. It did eventually get to a temperature that I would call Luke cool. Whereas with the Dyson, I press this cool shot button and it is cool within a couple of seconds and it stays nice and cool. And that's another thing that I really love about this is the placement of the cool shot, especially when you're using the air wraps, which, you know, okay, I don't use them, but if you do use them, what you want is you want to wrap it on, have it be hot for 30, 60 seconds. Then you want to immediately go in with your cool shot. Then as soon as you're done with your cool shot, you want to turn it off right away and let the curl out. When you're holding it and working it, you can easily access the buttons with one finger. And I love that. And I felt like with this one, especially when I was using it with the um, wrapper feature, I almost had to switch hands every time to turn it on and then switch hands because with this one, whether I'm doing lefty or righty, I can work this with one finger. With this one, I, have to, I feel like I have to hold it and then because there's nothing to hold it on down here to just reach up and flick that button, I have to grab it with my other hand, flick the button, then start curling, then figure out where this is and where it's kind of flat to the barrel. It doesn't really give you anything to find it with when you can't see it because a lot of times it's turned backwards so you can't see where it is and so you're kind of groping around on this thing looking for that cool button which doesn't really work very well anyway but this does have some really cool features like i think that the coolest thing about this is this feature right here where this turns like this otherwise i think it's pretty nice to use as a blow dryer i also feel like just doing my rough blowout and my sleek dry with the paddle brush. I felt like the Dyson was a little bit better, but not so much better than this. Head to head, are you getting something that's Dyson quality for half the price? Definitely not. But are you getting something that will do basically the same job at drying your hair and sleekifying your hair? Yes. I wish it was really great because I wanted to be able to be like, oh my gosh, it's a great dupe for the Dyson. I just feel like it's not quite there yet because I don't love the curling technology and based on what you know how not curled my hair looks right now after having used it i'm really unimpressed um you know did the blowout come out pretty similar yeah did the paddle brush come out pretty similar yeah was it the same process to get there not really was it the same amount of heat used on my hair not really um so i don't think it compares to the dyson head to head. I don't think you're getting the equivalent of a $600 Dyson and a $250 Shark. So do I think you have to run out and buy this over this? No, but if you were never going to afford this and you wanted to try something like this, I don't think it's bad. I think it can give you something kind of similar. All right, so that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.